not on the ice. So our first skater is the U.S. Olympian from 2014, Polina Edmonds, making her return to the Grand Prix circuit after missing nearly a year and a half of competition. She finished second at the U.S. Nationals in 2016, then suffered a bone bruise in her right foot, forced her to miss the remainder of that spring and all of last season. She spent four months off the ice and just began jumping this past June. She is definitely working her way back. She doesn't have the competition experience, so as trained as you are, nothing like the big event. Ah, nice. Triple-triple combination. Just didn't follow through on the landing of the triple toe. A small error, though, Steve. Just has to have her focus and really attack her next jumping pass. Triple jumps out of steps. It's a required element. Hers is a triple sow, a lower degree of difficulty than what you'll see the other skaters execute. Well done. So in this short program, I'll just remind you, there's three jumping passes. One must be in combination, and then a triple jump out of footwork, and then a double axle. Also, three spins are required and a step sequence. consistent jumps that's the name of the game and she has the artistry to back it up I like this program choreography by Rudy Galindo I also like the costuming you know she burst onto the scene she was so young when she made the US Olympic team at 15 years of age only 19 now but uh, she has she has grown a number of inches since uh, we saw her in Sochi and I think now she's handling her new statuesque body um, with ease. <laughs> Technically, she played it safe with the degree of difficulty of her, her triple jump, but I think a great strategy by Polina Evans, Edmonds working her way back into an international competition. The two-time U.S. silver medalist making her return to the Grand Prix circuit after missing nearly a year and a half. And we'll see her scores when we come back. Here's a look at Pauline Edmonds and her first jumping pass, triple loop, triple toe. And Steve, we talked about the fact they'll be looking at the rotations. The technical panel of three have a slow motion replay. So they look at the way the blade touches the ice on the landing of the jump to see if the rotation was fully executed in the air. When skaters get tight, or get off their timing, you see one or two things in the jumps, either the fall or the under rotations. And Paulina went out to a preseason competition, Finlandia, at the beginning of the season, late September. And every jump in the short program uh, was deemed under rotated. Let's take a look here at her double axle. Nice flow, good body position, elegant skater. The landing of that will be assessed. That looked good to me. I think that uh, this is going to be a big step up uh, for her since her first competition. And really, that's all you can hope for at this point. You want to each time get a little bit better and learn a little bit more. 
at that Finlandia Trophy event. She finished 13th overall, a full 63 points behind the winner, Maria Soskova of Russia, who is competing here today in France as well. But despite that, Edmund says that she feels confident, she feels strong, she's fully healthy, so no lingering effects of the layoff or the injury. First skater of the day in the ladies' short program. And the score's coming up to get us started in Grenoble. The score for Tolia Edmonds. The score technique. So that is a step up from uh, Finlandia, about seven points higher, but still about nine points behind her personal best. The top scores this year by uh, Medvedeva of Russia, 80.75 in the short program. So that is the number you'll see the top skaters trying to move in on. Polina Edmonds making her first ever appearance at the Grand Prix of France.